Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy E-Double. Just got my projector screen in from Screen Innovations. I'm about to set this up. 136 inch, two by four by one aspect ratio. I'm going up right here. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep y'all updated on the on the process. Super excited, can't wait to see uh, what it looks like with the screen. The picture was like super nice um, without the screen. So the screen should really just make it that much better. So uh, yeah, holla at y'all in a minute. All right, got everything out the box. Um, it's packaged really well. So shout out to Screen Innovations on that. But uh, so you got the owner owner's manual. I'm sure this is just like a box of uh, like the tools to put it together. And then you got your frame. And I'm not sure what that is. That's it's probably the screen. Yeah, that has to be the screen. But yeah, and I didn't say this on the first video, but it's the uh, Zero Edge Pro screen. And I went with the Slate 1.2. So let's go. All right, y'all. I got my good friend Pete over here. He helping me out. Um, so we got the frame assembled, which wasn't too difficult. Those corners was kind of a pain in the ass to get lined up, right? But came out pretty good. And then we got the slate screen that we just laid it on, and we about to snap it into place. So touch base with y'all in a minute. Yo, yo, yo. So what's good, y'all? Um, this portion of the video was recorded like several weeks after the previous uh, portion, which is why you see I got on different clothes. But um, basically what happened is once we finished snapping the screen on, um, we missed a couple snaps. So we had to unsnap the screen, uh, move those little snaps around and like reattach it. And then we mounted the screen and the bracket was kind of off. So had to readjust that to make sure the screen was level. Uh, then we put the screen up. Uh, started, you know, watching a couple movies, just, you know, testing it out. I completely forgot to record this portion of the video. It kind of got late, was tired. So, yeah, so now we're here. So, uh, the screen is up, came out super dope. Yeah, so let me go ahead and show you all the screen and we go from there. All right, y'all. So, this is the um, projector turned on. I dimmed the lights just a little bit, just to give like a real world example of like what it would look like. Um, if I was in here with the lights on, um, as you can see, the, the projector is give, you know, the picture still looks good. Um, it's not as nice if the lights are completely turned off. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I did go with the slate 1.2, um, gain screen, which does have some ambient light rejection, but not as good as like the black diamond, which is basically seems to be meant for, um, rooms that you know have a lot of natural light or if you're actually watching the um projector during the you know the day like in a well-lit room um but this is plenty good for you know if we're watching a football game got some people over and we want to you know have the lights on but yeah it looks pretty good now another thing i want to touch on is so this screen is a 2.41.1 aspect ratio or like cinescope uh, which I also hear referred to as and I went back and forth on this for a long time depending on uh, uh, Deciding on what screen I wanted to go with so, um, you know 16 by 9 um, Aspect ratio is basically is it's what you're seeing right now. So the source coming into here is the Apple TV um, And it displays a 16 by 9 most you know when you're watching TV um, Playing video games um, Most of those aspect ratios are 16 by 9 now the the two point four the two dot four one dot one by one is a wider format, which is why you see the black bars on the left and right, as opposed to if you're watching like a widescreen movie on a sixteen by nine aspect ratio, you'll see bars on the top and bottom. And the reason I went with this screen size is this is a dedicated theater room. So like most of the things we'll be doing in this room is is movie watching, you know, so I wanted the largest and most like immersive experience to be when watching movies, um, which is why I went this route. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull a movie up. 
um, turn the lights off so you can see what it looks like um, with the lights off. And then uh, I'm only going to play a real short snippet so I don't get hit with no copyright uh, infringement but uh, or co whatever. The, yeah, no copyright strike. Um, and then we'll go ahead and wrap the video up. So be back with y'all in a minute. y'all so that was the screen innovations zero edge pro 136 inch um, screen with the 1.2 gain uh, or the slate 1.2 gain uh, ALR screen um, I hope I, I, I said all that right but yeah um, I really like the screen the projector gave off a really good picture even before the screen and with the screen it really kind of just took us to the next level um i really like it a lot uh definitely highly recommend it um it's a little more pricier than some of the other screens but um the quality is like very apparent just in like the way they ship the product the the actual screen itself the like felt like around um the frame around it um, it's just a really, really high quality product. So I highly recommend. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be giving y'all a tour of the room um, more in depth and kind of go over, uh, you know, the speakers that I chose, um, the subwoofers, and then actually show y'all. Uh, I, I actually have separates. So I got like a preamp amplifier. Uh, I actually have a separate sub amp. Um, and a few other things so i'll show you my show you the the rack and uh everything that's in there and kind of what powers this room but uh hey if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button um if you're not already part of uh team double up uh go ahead and subscribe um there's a lot of dope content you know cover numerous different things uh from you know technology um to cars uh to hey we got some credit stuff coming down the line on um, helping you improve your credit. So uh, again, it's your boy E Double signing out. Um, shout out to the uh, team Double Up, and uh, holla at y'all next one. Peace out.